What's up guys, Cody Frisco here. This week I'm joining up with the gang, NSK, one of my favorite groups to play with by far. I got Money Impact, pretty much lead the group unofficially, and Bortz loses all the kits. And one of the best things about NSK, unfortunately is also one of the worst things, is that it's absolutely filled with chads. Everyone wants to go out and PvP, so... And since it's filled with chads, you'll be seeing us doing stuff like we're gonna be uh, countering this raid here, and this one's actually pretty important, I'll get into it in just a minute. But just that in quick summary to give you an idea, this is uh, kind of the highlights of the, uh, the raid from my perspective. You know, other people definitely were pulling their weight. But as you can see, we put up a good, put up a good fight on them and they ended up using their own boom, shooting them back. So make sure you stick to the end of the video to see uh, who ended up winning. So now that we got that out of the way, let's begin. This story actually begins in the middle of my three hour session on the server. And just to remind you, NSK had already had the base down on the server and they had kits, but because I'm joining them, I don't want to make them feel like I'm mooching off of them, so I run like prim gear so that way I can earn my own kits. But since they're all chads and we heard gunshots, we also heard some explosions. We went to go counter this uh, this online raid, and as you can hear, it sounds like popcorn in the microwave at around a minute 30. So that's just something we absolutely have to push. I wanted to get a uh, good look since I was the one with the poopiest gear, but then when I saw they were full metal, because we didn't know up until this point, I was calling it out like a madman. Oh, and when I called that out, NSK, their mouths started watering. They all started getting a like a full push. And I think at this point, this is when they started calling out that there was two. So uh, right here, they ended up killing one. And once I hear that there's only one left, I know it's my time to shine. And pop, there it is. We didn't know it yet, but these kids were part of the Zerg that was the richest on the server. And you could see his name right there for just a split sec. Wu Tong Sang in IN Legends is going to be some of the most important names in this video. And if you think after countering a raid that we're going to go farm, you're out of your mind. We were so pumped after this, we decided that we're going to start trying to make rockets and we're going to go take Bradley. In the hopes that someone would actually try to counter Bradley and we would get even more PvP. So we made some rockets and we ended up going to Bradley. I had gone AFK for just a moment watching TikToks when I heard the first boom. And it sounded like it was coming directly from our base. So we ended up running all the way back. And at this point, we were fully kitted. We had meds, we had rockets to take out Bradley. And also we all had guns. But we didn't know what we were about to run into. I was the furthest away from base, so my teammates actually made it there before me, and I just heard explosion after explosion and a whole bunch of gunfire. And as I peeked over the hill, I could see that we were getting smoked out. We were definitely getting raided. But at this point, I didn't know if they had a raid base or if they were just booming into a base maybe they thought was offline. But then my buddy Rez, who never responds to my messages, went down, so I had to res him. I decided to make a wide push so that way I could see the breach and see what was going on, but through the smoke it was hard. And after the smoke cleared we could see it clearly, there was a full on raid base, almost as big as our base, right in front of our entry. And on this base we only had one gate, so we couldn't get back into our base at all. I didn't get to see it in my POV, but one of my teammates actually took the rockets from Bradley and took out the turrets that were on their raid base, which helped out a lot. Which was a big play, because then we were able to push their raid base fully. And right here is when I noticed one of the rocketers were not on the shooting floor, they were on the ground, so we had to push that. I don't know why they had three outside, but they did, but you can see where they had turrets on the triangle. I'm aware that spray wasn't one of my best, but we're not going to talk about it. And that's when I saw their turn on the front of their uh, raid base was still there, so I had to be careful. This is when I caught them with their pants down and they were kidding. And I didn't want to loot because I figured their turn is right there, and I didn't know if we could even get out of our base with the uh, shooting floor pointing right at it. But I caught the same kid again trying to grab his gear, so I knew there had to be something on that body. And after seeing how their turret was placed, I knew I could actually go and get that stuff that was on that body.
And awesome. I'm able to loot the body. Head rockets. GLLR. This kid definitely didn't think that we were going to put up any kind of a fight if he had everything like that on him. But now that I know I had smokes, I started shooting smokes into their shooting floor so that way we could get into our base a little bit easier. I'm shooting instantly. I, I killed him, I killed him, I killed him. Up top. Alright. Oh, 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 That's me, I was shooting at their instance. And it wasn't until about right now when I realized I actually had real rockets. I thought I just had incense. Hang on, I'm, yeah, I'm loading up incense now. They're despawning. Turn's gone, turn's gone. While I destroyed the last turn, uh, my teammates were able to seal the uh, compound, which unfortunately meant no gate, so we didn't have a way to get in and out of the base. Knowing they still had rockets still in their shooting floor, I decided to start shooting their rockets into their shooting floor. Someone who's died, can you start hitting a tree so we can boost over? Because I'm like, I'm fully loaded. And since we had killed them on the ground and took them at kits and we were completely swarming all over their raid base, we kind of wrote it off like we had already won. Then I had to depot the stuff into our base, which, no, because I, I we had no gate, we actually had to build in our own compound. And they ended up coming back with even more kits, so because I knew that, I shot the last shooting of the smokes into their shooting, uh, floor. shooting floor. And we also had to build out of our base, so I ended up jumping over, and then I ended up dying to some grenades, but then I got my kit back, and I thought all their turns were still down, so I ran in front trying to get cover by the, over by the stone external wall, but I ended up getting mowed down, and I was so confused. Another auto turret? Wu-Tang? What the world, man? And just like that, I was on bag timer. There was nothing else I could do for now. So yeah, then when I was able to spawn back in, they had already placed even more turrets down and they had more full kits and rockets. And because we had only been PvPing and not getting any farm up, we had a whole bunch of guns but no ammunition. So we were basically sitting ducks. You can see me here trying to uh, counter Hey can we make those walls behind the metal right there? Can we make that high quality? And would you look at that? Once again, I died to an Jesus auto turret. Christ, just put a fuck load of and then that was that. They had gotten TC and broken my bag. So I went to Bandit and got some to be able to do something, but 
they completely covered their entire uh, raid base with turrets. So to Wu-Tang's group, I appreciate the online. It was a lot of fun. However, you heavily relied on turns. I think in total you guys went through 10 turns during this whole, the whole raid, which is crazy. So that's it for part one. That was the uh, first day that we got raided. And we ended up getting online raided the second day on a completely different server that we had snowballed up on. We ended up losing the raid, but at the end of the day, it's always fun to get online raided. So thanks for the online guys, much respect, and also thank you NSK for letting me play with you guys again. It's a lot of fun. So make sure you guys like the video and subscribe, and I'll have part two out soon. Alright, later guys. Bye.